Hey guys, Paul here. How to stop paying your rent and mortgage under the stimulus package? If you ask, you shall receive. According to the stimulus package, you can stop paying your mortgage for the next 12 months. So let's talk about mortgages first and then after that we'll talk about rent. So under the stimulus package as written, you can request a federally backed loan, which is over 95% of you guys. That's including FHA, VA, conventional loan, etc. You can request a loan forbearance to delay payment for an initial 180 days. And it could be extended for another 180 days. So how do you go about delaying your payment? First, you have to contact your specific lender and get a written confirmation from them to delay your payment. So how do you qualify? First, if you own a one, two, four single family home, a duplex, triplex, or fourplex, you are qualified to request a forbearance to delay your payment for a period of 180 days. And at the end of the 180 days, it could be extended for another 180 days. That's about a year. Hey, do me a favor, guys. Give this video a thumbs up so you can help more people watch it because a lot of people need this information right now. Thanks. So according to the bill, when you call your lender, you want to make sure you let them know you're having a hardship as a result of what's going on right now. So here's what you do, guys. So guys, before you call them, I would advise you to give yourself some time because now they're extremely busy. They're getting a lot of calls. So give yourself some time because you may be on the phone for a while. So here's what you do. You let them know that you're having a hardship as a result of what's going on right now. You know what I'm talking about. So that's what's required according to the stimulus. You want to be clear with your lender that your six months forbearance delay payment will be added to your loan at the end. The last thing that you want to do is get stuck with a six month lump sum payment or one year in some cases because it's kind of productive being stuck with those six month lump sum payment at the end of 180 days or for some of you at the end of a year which makes no sense at all you want to make sure when you speak to your lender you guys are on the same page the delay payment will be added at the end of your loan period and number two according to the bill you don't have to prove anything you don't have to send any paperwork to prove that you are having a hardship all you have to do is let them know that you are having a hardship as a direct result of what's going on right now. So what about your credit? This is very important, guys. According to the bill as written, they cannot penalize you, they cannot charge you a fee, they cannot report you as being late to the credit bureau unless your mortgage was already being late before this started. But if you caught up with your late payment, even though you're not making future payments, they have to report you as being current. So what about taxes and insurance? So this is a little tricky, guys. So for most of you, you have an escrow account attached to your mortgage. Every month when you make your mortgage payment, a portion of that go to your escrow account to pay your taxes and insurance. So if your mortgage is being delayed, you're not making a payment for six months or 12 months, obviously they won't have enough money in your escrow account to pay your taxes and insurance. So you will be hit with what's called an escrow shortage in your account. So if you have an escrow account attached to your loan, what I would advise you to do, first call your county or your tax assessor's office to see if they have any tax deferral program going on right now. Okay, that's number one. Number two for insurance. So when it comes to your homeowner's insurance, well, you have to pay your homeowner's insurance. Here's my advice on that. Take your last mortgage statement. Look for the, the escrow amount. I will advise you to make that payment every month and make sure, make sure you specifically make that payment to your escrow account. So at the end of the year, when your mortgage company gets your tax bill or your insurance bill, they have enough money to pay it. Even though you're not paying your mortgage, but your escrow account have enough money to cover your taxes and insurance. That's what I would advise you guys to do. So this is for one to four families, single family, duplex, triplex, and fourplex. So now let's get into multifamilies. So when it comes to multifamily, it's a little harder because the landlord have to actually prove they're having hardship due to what's going on right now to get an approval from their lender. And also they have to agree not to evict anyone for non-payment for 90 days. Remember guys, for single family, you don't have to prove anything. So if you're currently renting right now, the first thing you have to do, you have to start the conversation with your landlord. So one thing you guys have to keep in mind, the delay payment, mortgage or rental, you will have to pay that money eventually. It's delayed, yes. So you, have to, so you need to start that conversation now with your landlord to see exactly what kind of payment plan you will be on, what they can do for you. Even though you're not being evicted, but that money is still due. Eventually that money has to be paid. So you, you want to start that conversation now to establish some kind of payment plan or some kind of delay payment with your landlord. That's what is important to start the conversation right now. If you're a tenant, guys, you may want to check Fannie Mae and the Freddie Mac website. I'll link them down below. They just announced a partnership with over 4 million apartment nationwide. That's about 27,000 properties. You may want to check to see where you, that apartment where you live, if that fall under the nationwide relief program with Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Again, guys, please keep the DM coming. The text, my number is right down on the screen. I'll try to get the information out to you as soon as possible. 
and stay home guys I follow the expert advice I think this is the best way to get rid of this thing as soon as possible if we stay home stay away from each other I know it's hard I'm doing it it's, it's it's extremely hard let me tell you I know it but hey it is what it is let's protect each other by staying together guys let's get through this together guys as always guys thank you thank you again for watching if this is your first time here my name is Paul with Sunset Realty and I would love to have you as a subscriber please subscribe so don't miss any of our next videos Peace.